I've been using Arch Linux, by the way, for a good couple of years now. It's how I got started both on Linux and on YouTube, initially starting off basically copying Daddy Luke Smith and eventually developing my own system, developing my own style, and as happy as I've been on Arch Linux and I really love what the AUR offers, I feel like it's time for a change. It's time to see what else is out there and begin a new journey. But before I tell you what I'm switching to, I need to tell you why. First thing, I'm kind of sick of doing updates all the time, and I want to see what it's like running a system that's a little bit slower in how the updates come out. It's not that I don't like messing around with all of this software that's, you know, really up to date in many ways, you know, cutting edge, bleeding edge, whatever term you want to be using, but occasionally Arch Linux will ship a package that's a little bit broken. Say, for example, with the Grub situation a couple of months ago and all manner of other cases where things have just broken a little bit and whenever I happen to run into problems, it's usually at a really inconvenient time. I'm about to start recording, I'm about to start streaming, and I feel like my production rig should be a little bit more stable. Now maybe that's my fault, I should change when I'm doing my updates, that's probably fair, but Arch should also be testing their packages before they ship out to the user. Plus there is the matter of manual intervention. Keys keep changing, requiring me to separately update my keychain, packages keep getting swapped out or names being changed, being moved to different repos, and dealing with managing the AUR alongside my regular packages is kind of a pain. Sometimes my AUR packages are a little bit out of date, causing me to have to go and work out what I need to update to make things actually work properly. And for quite a while now, I have been fine with it, but over time, it does get a little bit draining, and eventually it makes you want to try out something else just to see what it's like on some other part of Linux. Sometimes I just don't want to update my system for a couple of months and want things to just keep working. Why does something always have to go wrong? I just want to turn my PC on, do maybe a minor little update if needed, and not think about anything else and get on with my work. And to be completely honest, I don't really need a rolling release. I don't run the latest hardware. I don't need the latest kernel. I always tend to wait around a generation or so whenever I go and buy hardware where drivers are probably going to be an issue. Like right now I'm running a 3600X as my CPU and a 6700 XT as my GPU and I bought that GPU basically around the time the 7000 series was being released. It was, I'm not going to say cheap, but cheaper and it just works. Like all of the driver issues have pretty much been ironed out and I have no issues whatsoever. But for hardware like this, pretty much any reasonably up-to-date distro, any distro that's actually still being maintained, is gonna be perfectly fine, and there's not really gonna be an issue. One area of concern, though, might be with gaming. Generally, you wanna have the most up-to-date version of Mesa possible to make sure your AMD drivers are all, you know, working fast and all that fun stuff, but also so that any of the new features being added, like the new graphics pipeline, are actually going to be accessible. Luckily, there is a way to get around this by just playing games with the Steam Snap. Plus, it's as good a time as any to try out a new desktop. I have been using Awesome WM probably going on two years now, I would guess. Awesome WM has been absolutely fantastic, and I would highly encourage anybody out there who likes dynamic tiling window managers to actually go and use it. But Awesome is great if you really like to customize stuff. Everything in the project is exposed through Lua functions, all this fun stuff with Lua. So if you know Lua and you want to actually go and customize stuff, it works out great. In my case though, I've been using it basically vanilla. I've made some slight theme changes. I've changed out some of the layouts that are available. I've changed out keys. But as for changing the core fundamental way it actually works, I've not done any of that. I've pretty much made like maybe 
50 to 100 lines of changes. I just didn't feel like it really needed that many changes. It worked great out of the box. And I feel like if I'm going to be that lazy with it, I might as well just try out a desktop environment and see what it's like. I've been using tiling window managers the entire time I've been using Linux, so maybe a DE, you know, would be a nice change of things. Just to see what it's like if I don't like it. Obviously, I can go and swap to something else, but I feel like it's going to be, you know, a fairly positive experience and very possibly way better than any tiling window manager I've ever used. And regardless of what desktop environment I'm using, most of them are set up to both look and work really well out of the box. And to be honest, it's probably better to use a distro where everything is just configured really nicely, so I just don't have to worry about it. Better yet, having no user intervention needed would be optimal. I'm kind of sick of having to do that. Now, with all of that out of the way, it's time to show you the distro. But before I do that, I feel like I need to change into something just a little bit more comfortable. That is a much, much nicer desk and one final piece. <sighs> My new distro of choice is Ubuntu. I hope you guys stick around for this new direction. I know it is very different from what we we're doing before, but I think you guys will like it. There is a lot of stuff to cover, and I'm sure there's going to be some incredible videos that come from this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if I'm being completely honest, um, the programmer socks are actually kind of comfy. Like, I'm not going to wear them, but, like, I get it. Like, they actually are kind of nice to wear. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys like the video. Um, yeah, if you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, study, bearer pay, linked down below. That's going to be it for me, and this is obviously a joke.